In this video, we will be discussing post-impressionist art. I will be creating some of the recreations of post-impressionism art as well. But in order to learn about post-impressionist art, you need to know about impressionist art. Impressionist art was based in France and revolved around the idea of creating something that looked like something you would see in real life. These paintings were created in bright colors and were captured without a lot of detail. Some famous impressionist artists were Pablo Pizarro, who painted French countryside river paintings, and Degas, who painted dancers. Post-impressionist art was also developed in France, but wasn't considered a movement or a style, but an artist rebellion against the ideas of impressionist art and trying to push the boundaries of the technique. Post-impressionist art pieces focused on optical effects rather than the subject matter and had a more abstract approach on the idea of painting something found in real life. Some minor styles that were present in post-impressionism were pointism, which the artist used little dots of color in order to create a piece. So when you get up close, the art looks like little dots, and when you stand back, it looks like a full illustration. Another technique used was cubism, where art was based on more geometric shape rather than organic ones. The first painting I'm doing is of Starry Night, but I will be changing the color scheme and making it a sunny day rather than a starry night, to put my own twist on it. This piece was painted by Vincent Van Gogh in 1889. He painted this of what he saw outside the window of his same style, and it is one of his most famous pieces. But this wasn't the first starry night he created. The original was called Starry Night Over Rome. This piece represents the post-impressionist style through added texture through small brush strokes, giving the art more of an optical look and the lack of seamless blending causing a technique to shine through rather than the picture of the art itself. The painting gained popularity due to swirls of color in the sky and the use of brush strokes. When painting this painting, I struggled getting the colors from being just brown and blah to more of a red-orange color. I, it took a lot of tweaking with the color and finally I came to a color I liked more. Sunday Afternoon on Grand Jetet is another very popular impressionist art piece. I will be painting a piece in the perspective of the girl with the purple dress. It was painted by George Chirac. He was determined to create a piece of art to open new possibilities for art. He used pointism to add optical illusion to give it a pop. This painting is made of million, a million dots. It took two years to make. This piece is made of Parisians enjoying Sunday afternoon in a swap by the river. People believe the art represents the French Borghese as a dying class, and that has become very lustful in vice. But nobody knows sh sure what the true mini is. At first, people hated the painting due to its points, as, but as years went by, people began to appreciate the dedication it took to create it. Some people also say this piece has hidden sex workers, but the woman on the fishing hook is not looking for fish. In painting this piece, it took absolutely forever. It took me about four hours to create, and using little dots made the process take a million years. For real. Well, that's the end of the video. I really did enjoy creating these very popular pieces of art, and I hope to create more impressionist style artworks in the future. 